Seventeenth lesson. What time is your train? At eight thirty. Well, hurry up. It's eight fifteen already. All right. Keep calm. But David, you're late. Don't shout. I can hear you. Where are my shoes? Here, with your briefcase. Okay, I'm ready. Ah,、oh, at last. What time is it now? It's twenty past eight. Right, I'm off. Bye, bye, love. Goodbye. It's now twenty-five past eight. David is at the station. He has his paper under his arm. His briefcase is on the platform, and he is waiting for the eight thirty train. It's never on time, he says impatiently. What time is it? Hurry up! I'm off. Eighteenth lesson. Husband and wife. On the train, David reads his paper. He stands because the train is full. People that travel to work every day are called commuters. The journey takes twenty minutes. And he has ten minutes to walk to the office. He hasn't much time, so he walks quickly. He crosses the city and arrives at his office. He takes the lift to the fourth floor. He goes to his desk and sits down. He is on time. His wife Joan washes the dishes and leaves the house at ten to nine. Her office is quite near, so she always walks. It takes her eight minutes to arrive at her office. She is a secretary in an accountant's firm. At nine o'clock. Both the Wilsons are working. Nineteenth lesson. Answer these questions about lesson eighteen. What does David do on the train? Does he sit down? What are commuters? How long does the journey take? Does he walk quickly? Why? On what floor is his office? Does he arrive on time? What does his wife do with the dishes? What time does she leave the house? Is her office near or far? Her office is near the house. It is close. The shop closes at six o'clock. Please sit down. No, I prefer to stand. Twentieth lesson. Have you got any cigarettes? Yes. What kind do you want? Oh, Turkish ones, please. Here you are, sir. Thank you. How much is that? Fifty pence, please. My son's a doctor of philosophy. Oh, good. What kind of illness is philosophy?
a bargain. Do you want a carpet, sir? Here are some beautiful carpets. How much is that little one? It is a real oriental carpet, sir. It is magnificent. It costs fifty pounds. Ridiculous! That's much too dear. Well, make me an offer. Fifty pence, and not one penny more. What? Fifty pence for this real Turkish carpet? Well, take it, sir. It's yours. Twenty-first lesson. Revision and notes. No recording for this lesson. Twenty-second lesson. At the weekend. At the weekend, people usually do not work. On Sunday, everything is closed. Except the cinemas, and a few shops. Few people leave London, but many go to the parks. There are many parks in London, and there is much grass. In the parks, you can walk anywhere, except on the lakes. At the weekend, there is always too little time and too much to do. Football is very popular, and many people go and watch matches on Saturday. You can also go to the cinema, or the theatre, or simply walk through the streets. But on Monday. You go back to work. Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. On Saturday. At the weekend. In October. Twenty-third lesson. Can I help you, Mummy? Can I have some sweets? You can, but you may not. Oh, Mummy. May I have some sweets? Of course, dear. Help yourself. Can I help you? Yes, please. I want a map of London. Do you like this one? It's very detailed. Yes, that's fine. How much is it? Well, it costs twenty pence, but you can have it for fifteen pence. Where can I find a telephone? You can find one at the end of the street. May I ask you something? Of course. Can you tell me the time? My watch doesn't work. Certainly. It's exactly two o'clock. Twenty-fourth lesson: an unwelcome conversation. Excuse me. May I sit down? Please do. Thanks very much. Ah, that's better. My name's Brian Sellers. Oh, very interesting. Yes. I work in London. Do you work in London too? Yes, I do. Have a cigarette. No, thank you. This is a non-smoking compartment. Oh. 
Do you mind if I smoke? Yes, I do. I'm cold. Are you cold too? No, I'm not. Oh, you have a paper. I don't like reading. I prefer talking. Yes, I see. No, you hear. <laughs> goodbye, sir. Oh, goodbye. Do you mind if I smoke? Mind your head. He's cold. He's hot. He's unlucky. Twenty-fifth lesson. A polite conversation. David and his wife are at a party. David is talking to a tall, good-looking woman. Hello, my name's David Wilson. I'm Susan Bryce. What do you do, David? I'm a journalist. Oh. How interesting! Do you write for the Times? No, I work on the Daily Whale, but I hope to change soon. And what about you? Oh, I'm an author. I'm writing a book about British painters. Have we got any? <laughs> Don't be silly. Of course we have. People like. Constable, Turner, and so on. But it's taking a long time because the information is difficult to find. May I read it when it's finished? With pleasure. Oh dear, my wife's looking at me. I'd better go. What do you do? I'm an author. What are you doing? I'm learning English. Twenty-sixth lesson. Can you lend me five pounds? But I don't know you. That's exactly why I'm asking you. Jane, why do you always come to school with dirty hands? Well, Miss. I haven't got any others. At the concert. This piece is a symphony by Mozart. I suppose it is something new. What? Don't you know that Mozart is dead? Excuse me, I never read the papers. He never talks to me. Don't ever say that. Say. He always talks to other people. A nervous passenger. I'm scared of the water. Don't be silly. People never drown in these waters. Are you sure, young man? Of course I am. The sharks never let anybody drown.